Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am here for another uh, bookishly classic book crate unboxing. So if you guys remember, I did an unboxing of their Anne of Green Gables um, box back in, when was that? It was fall time because it was all like fall leaf themed. I think, that, I wanna say that was November. I'll leave it linked down in the description if you guys wanna check out that one. Um, they contacted me and wanted to see if I want to do another unboxing on my channel. And I was like, uh-huh, I do. Cause that box, was amazing. That was possibly one of the most like thoughtful and beautiful and well curated boxes I have like ever received. Everything just went together cohesively. It was beautiful. So when they reached out to ask if I wanted to do their Alice in Wonderland one, I was like, yeah, I do indeed. So I have all of their information linked in the description if you guys want to go check them out at all. So far, I have only amazing things to say about them. It is a UK-based company, though. Just for clarity's sake, as far as shipping goes and everything, it is based in the UK. So that's enough introduction. I'm gonna get into this because if I remember correctly, their boxes are packed. So I'm gonna start unboxing it so that we can like move this video along. So there is an entire like customs form on the back right here. Um, and I'm trying to avoid looking at it. It's just a whole bunch of spoilers. Obviously, like I kind of already know there's gonna be a book and like art stuff in here, but I feel like it's just like an outer spoiler card. So I'm, I'm just not looking at it. Here we go. Ooh, it's gonna be blue and flowery themed. Oh man, I'm excited. So they always have this like banner thing. Hold on, let me straighten it out so it looks beautiful for you. But they always have like this strip that goes across that kind of shows you what the like artwork is gonna look like. If you guys didn't watch the first unboxing, all of the like the book cover and all of the things generally all match. So this is what the box looks like. First thing I'm gonna get into, I guess, is the box that you guys just saw in there. So let's see, what is the, this is a mug. Already one of my favorite boxes. If you send me a mug, I'm gonna love it. Okay, so it's a white, mug oh my gosh does that have some it has something different all the way around that's awesome so it has a quote um twinkle twinkle little bat how i wonder what you're at man i don't remember that from the book at all but it has this adorable little teacup okay so that is like the little tiny rat in the teacup or mouse in the teacup and this is the quote that is wrapped around on the other side is that not like the cutest thing ever and look at that font oh my god this is so Cute. Okay, the next thing I'm seeing before I lose it in this box is this teeny tiny little pin that has the quote, why is a raven like a writing desk? Okay, I remember that one for sure, but this, but I just wanted to grab this before it got lost into like the abyss that is this huge box full of squiggles. So that is what it looks like. It's just a teeny tiny little pin that honestly is really cute to go on like the strap of a tote bag because it's so teeny tiny. Okay, so it has the same card that was in the last one. So it includes the what's inside of this. So this is kind of your spoiler card, but it also goes into information about the book. So um, obviously the themes that are in Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll is language and communication, exploration, identity, and youth. And you know, some drug use along the way. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but it has like a quote and it has like their social media and whatnot. So this is just like an all informative page. This is essentially the spoiler card. Ooh, okay. I just found a whole stack of goodies in here. So let's see. First thing is in this little tiny um, linen pouch. And it has, oh my gosh, it has a little label on it. Look how cute this label is. It's literally just like little teacups. That's adorable. Um, what is in here? This is from littlestampstore.com. And this, oh my gosh, this is a stamp. That makes sense, that's the company. Okay, well, that was an intelligent moment caught on film, but okay, how can you, oh, you guys can actually already see this. It is literally just a little tiny stamp. Um, of this, like this is this stamp, like you dip it in ink. All right, you guys know how stamps work. You're not done. Okay, that's really cool. The last box, they included um, an entire like custom, I don't know how to get that to stand up, um, like color pencil art set. So it seems like they include like kind of artsy type things, which I mean, I guess is on point for their brand because all of their stuff is like beautifully designed. Okay. I'm already talking too much for this video. It's gonna be a long one. So the next thing in there is tea, which is by the same company as the last box. And this is obviously called Drink Me. That's, you know, obviously you kind of have to do that for Alice in Wonderland theme, but this is Kaika Cherry Sencha. 
Hmm. It says this is a green sencha tea, rose petals, and natural flavors. Ooh, that sounds good. It has the same continuation of like their flower pattern on the satchel here. Okay, the next thing is a bookmark um, that continues their same floral pattern throughout the entire box. And this one has a quote on it that says, begin at the beginning, said the king very gravely, and go until you come to the end, then stop. That's a pretty famous quote as well. So that's what that looks like. It is still focusing on my face. Come on, camera, just pay attention here. Okay, well, you guys got the idea. And then we have a fact card about Lewis Carroll. So it gives like when he was born, when he died, his nationality, what he's known for, and his face. Ooh, it has a Penguin Classic in here as well. The Penguin Little Black Classics. I haven't seen Little Black versions. Like I've seen the um the Penguin Classics with like the orange. I feel like everybody's seen those on the shelves. But this is Little Black Classics. And this is Lewis Carroll, O Frabjous Day. Conjuring wily walruses, dancing lobsters, a jabberwock, and a bandersnatch. Carroll's fantastical verse gave new words to the English language. That's the description on the back. Oh, so this is just like poetry from him. Ta-da! Okay, that's awesome. So that's like an extra little book. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Are these greeting cards? I think these are greeting cards that are honestly stunning. Hold on, I gotta take these out and show them to you because this is beautiful. Yes, these are little individual greeting cards. So we have three different greeting cards that I'm gonna show you guys. And are these blank inside? Yeah, so they're just blank. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. They come with envelopes. They're greeting cards. Let me show you each of them because they each have a different print on them. This is the first one. We obviously have Alice, but look how gorgeous that is. Oh my goodness. And it's just a blank greeting card and it has um, Bookish Lee's logo on the back. So that's card number one. Card number two is the same little scene that is on the mug. Oh my gosh, look at the little teacup. Oh, look how cute this is. This is precious. And again, it has their logo on the back. And the third one has little toadstools on it. I love these colors. I love the really, really pale pink with the darker blue. And again, on the back, the same thing. These are so cute. Okay, I'm already running out of room on my little stand here. But the next thing is the book with the little custom cover on it. And it wraps all the way around. Look how beautiful this is. I'm hoping that my camera is actually picking up on the blues and not just washing everything out. But this is obviously a copy of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. And it just wraps all the way around. And in case you guys didn't know, they just make custom um, dust jackets actually. And they put them on like legitimate editions, which I think is honestly one of the smartest things. Like, I don't know why other companies haven't thought to do this, but this is brilliant. And I just love that they keep the same theme across everything. Oh, I love this. And then we have a thing that is wrapped, which I believe if this is the same thing that was in the last one that I received, I think this is a framed quote. Yes, I believe that's the same thing. So. Oh my gosh, this is their own custom wrapping paper. Like this adorable wrapping paper literally has their logo on it. You guys, you guys have like this whole market locked down. This is amazing. But this, oh my God, I love these. These are brilliant. Okay, this is a print that is actually stamped on a page from Through the Looking Glass. And this is like a stamp that they made and it's in this like really deep 3D black frame. So you can just set this on your shelf. This is brilliant. These are so cool. So this one says, I can't go back to yesterday because I was a different person then, which is one of like the best quotes, honestly. Look at that. Oh my God, this box, I can't, I'm out of room. Hold on, where do I put this? Okay, and we're down to the bottom of the box. I have two things left. This one just gives information about their three different subscription things. Um, there's a tea and book club. Ooh, really? There's a coffee and book club. Oh my God, I want both of those. I'm a tea and coffee drinker. And then there is the classic of the month club, which is this. So they have three different options and it has a discount code, which is 10 off three. If you guys wanna use this, go for it. And the very last thing is this beautiful print that has curiouser and curiouser. Oh man, that's a tongue twister. That say that a lot. Um, but look how stunning this is. Oh my God, and it fits their whole aesthetic. This is beautiful. Their last one was just like all oranges and reds and leaves, which was totally a fall theme. I feel like this is the cutest. I thought this was gonna be more springy, but this is honestly perfect for Valentine's Day. It's a lot of like soft pastel pinks and blues. Ah, look at it. I, I'm out of room. Can you see that? There we go. Okay, that is the complete unboxing. I feel like I'm hiding the book already, but there 
Look at that aesthetic. So I'm kind of obsessed with their boxes because I feel like not only do they create an entire brand around one book and you get like a ton of stuff that matches it, they also kind of give you stationary type things. Like you get cards in this one with a little teacup rubber stamp and like a bookmark and tea and a mug to drink the tea in. Oh my God, this box. I wish I could get this box every month. This is amazing. So um, I will leave their website linked down below if you guys want to go check them out. I honestly think it is worth every penny that you pay for this, shipping included if you're in the US, but oh my goodness. That is going to be it for this unboxing. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed doing it, and I will see you guys in my next video.